it is open to all the gardens again. Hello. And I am showing you this is a sun sugar cherry tomato. This is one I bought. I do not have seeds for, but I happen to be someplace where they did have um, mature plants. So I grabbed three because these are the best cherry tomato I've ever eaten. You guys know my relationship with cherry tomatoes is iffy, but these are so good. I got three of them, two, um, two for me and one for my aunt when I do her yard, which I won't get to do until after next weekend because my daughter graduates high school then, so I can't plan anything unless I can get it done during the week, which is hard with my husband working full-time and me part-time is probably not going to happen. But I wanted to show you, I planted this little rectangle white planter. I've had this planter about, oh gosh, 10 years now? I got it at the farmer's market one fall, full of carnation, or not carnation, uh, chrysanthemums, that was 20 bucks. Had I known then what I know now, I'd have bought 40 of them, because it's perfect. I've got my winter sown bush white scallop squash in there. I have a few beets that I'm going to use for the leaves, and I'll pull those out as these other plants mature. These petunias are called yellow crazy tunia or something like that. And I just like the colors. They were at the same place I got the tomatoes. And this is pink and white crazy tunia. And this is some winter sown lettuce. A few more beets and another squash. And I will be thinning this out as things grow and enlarge. And, uh, or enlarge. And I just wanted to show you there is actually a little couple of baby tomatoes on here. So I just wanted to show you I'm actually going to be getting rid of them so that we can get some good... Uh, strong roots in here. This is um, actually showing you a short shot because they are actually this tall. So I, you see that I buried it quite deep so it'll get some roots. So those little baby tomatoes are coming off so we can get some established roots. And um, I got really good soil in here so I don't have to feed it. What I did instead is I took one of my cow pots that I transplanted out of. These um, This lettuce came out of a cow pot so I broke it up and put it scattered in um, on the bottom, not blocking the drainage holes, and that will feed this container. And I think that'll be enough food for everything for quite some time. And if not, if I have to add some more feed, I will um, throw some mulch on top and maybe I will add a little organic fertilizer. I do have a bag of Trifecta Plus from Luke, and I did want to try it because he seems to have good results. Do too much fertilization because I do share with Miss Fran's turtles, so I try to keep everything as unadulterated as possible. But I just wanted you to see what I did today. Is Sunday, May ooh, 19th, I believe it is. Friday's the 24th, so whatever day this is today, I'll put it in the description box because I can't remember off the top of my head and I can't see the calendar while I'm filming. So I just wanted to upload a quick video because I probably won't get to one next week. And I'm not doing a tour of the yard because it's a wreck and I'm embarrassed at how bad it looks. It's horrible. The grass needs to be cut, the trees and the brush need to come down. There's just too much going on back there and we can't get to it this week probably. So I will give you a quick shot that he's doing bed number two. I'm not going to put him in the shot. And I'm just going to say to you guys, happy gardening. And as always, happy gardening. But more importantly, blessings of bounty and may your gardens always bring you joy. See you next time.